Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to the service park here at Wales Rally GB for the world final of our eSports competition for 2019. We started four years ago at Wales Rally GB, and it's so fantastic to host our very first arena show here at Wales Rally GB. Just fantastic looking stage right in Van Dudno and a great crowd to enjoy one hour's worth of action with the very best WRC drivers in the world. Virtual racing, real racing, side by side. It's a real pleasure to be here, and this is ha what's happened so far this season. Season four of the WRC Esports World Final has been fought out all year, with over 12,000 players setting times across 12 rounds of a championship run to mirror the real world season. Drivers have had to submit times each WRC weekend on WRC 7, with Mihalo taking five wins across the season. Subi took four wins, but missed the last three rounds, safe in the knowledge he would stay in the top eight to qualify for the Welsh finals. 2017 champion Nexel and 2018 champion John Armstrong also featured in the qualifiers, joined by a wild card from Korea, Kim Yong Chang. The semi-final and final would be run on newly released WRC 8, presenting a new challenge for all. Eight semi-final stages were run across the morning, with the cumulative time establishing just four spaces for our finalists. Nexel set the early pace, but was pushed hard by Noel and Jono. Penalties for both across the morning helped championship top two Subi and Mihalo into qualifying contention, whilst John Armstrong took a late stage win to book his spot. But who would qualify? It has been a dramatic filled day. Eight stages, 40 minutes worth of driving for these guys, even before the grand final. Let's now meet our first finalist. So I'm um, Lohan Blanc. I'm um, 20 years old and I'm French. Um, I'm I'm liking the simulation uh, side of the game that I've been uh, improving a lot and uh, I'm doing uh, really good since uh, uh, 2016 now, so uh, I really like the game. But uh, it's really cool to, to compete against uh, all the best drivers in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Laurent Blanc, Nexel! Loa, you've taken victory once before, but that was in very different conditions on a very different game. How are you feeling this weekend? I'm uh, really confident because uh, it's uh, something uh, I've been practicing a lot, so I'm really confident and I think uh, I will manage to, to do it again. You've had a very good round so far. Go and sit in your seat. Thank you. So, Loan Blanc from France, our first contender, who is our second? Hi, my name is John Armstrong. I am 24 years old and I come from Northern Ireland. I suppose my favourite all-time WRC driver would be Carl McRae, uh, just for his flat-out driving style and uh, flamboyant style at that. He's, uh, it was just a joy to watch. I play WRC esports because I want to pitch myself against the best players in the world. And whenever I'm not uh, racing on real cars, it's a good way to keep my skills going. Ladies and gentlemen, John Armstrong. John, you've had a one victory last year on WRC7. You're qualified on WRC7. This is WRC8. Have you got it against the force that is Nexel today? Yeah, Nexel has been putting in really good times today. Um, I think he's had quite a lot of practice compared to the rest of us, but uh, I'm not going to let that stop me. And I'm going to put in the best performance I can and try to be consistent as well. And uh, hopefully. At the end, I'll have a good result. Head to your pod. Good luck. John Armstrong, our second contender. Let's now meet our third contender. Hello, my name is Peter Suboric. My nickname is uh, Sabi203. Yeah, in this year, of course, TR New will. I like his style. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> uh, in the beginning, I 
practice a lot and I have a, I had a lot of good result but at the end I I don't have I didn't have time to practice a lot so I just give up I'm on the final so yeah Ladies and gentlemen please welcome onto the stage Suvi <laughs> Mr consistent Suvi you were so good in the championship leading up to this point with so many victories. You didn't even do the final three rounds and you're still here in third pod. Are you feeling good? Is this the one for you finally? Yeah, of course. Uh, I didn't feel I can win this final event because they are two guys that are very fast. But yeah, I'm fighting for the third place, for sure. Fighting for the third place. Well, go and head to your pod from Hungary. Peter Subortis. And now our final contender. Uh, I'm Dian Noel, I'm 21 and I'm French. Sebastian Lowe, because uh, it's French and uh, I grew up with, uh, with him in WRC. As I said, uh, I'm born in uh, 1998 so when i had the age to to watch it it was uh, it was the rising star so i grew up with him and uh, to me and he's just the best one to be honest <laughs> ladies and gentlemen welcome onto the stage dylan noel now dylan Three guys that if we've been following these seasons over the last couple of years, we know very well. You're a kind of new name to this championship. How are you feeling going up against these giants of EWRC? Um, I'm very proud, to be honest, uh, to be in the, in the final four with the, these guys. And uh, yeah, for sure, I will try my best to, to beat them. It was very fast in qualification. Head over to your pod. Fantastic pods. Dylan Noel, the second of our Frenchmen. So they are our drivers, and they will get themselves prepared. Shoes off, of course. There's special socks for them this weekend. But let's now meet our casters, our commentators for the three stages this evening. Rene Butler and Bex Williams. Thank you very much, Ben, and welcome everyone to the Esports WRC 2019 final. It's going to be thrilling. I can guarantee you of that. We have, as you've seen, four finalists who are ready to compete across three specially chosen stages this evening. Alongside me, Rene Butler, we've commentated on, well, this will be our third yeah, live final <laughs> together. So it is very exciting times. We know how thrilling it's going to be out there. Rene, you looking forward to it? Uh, definitely. I mean, this is the fourth final for the Esports WC, right? It's the fourth season. We got drivers here that really shot the pace across this game, the last game, every season. Uh, we have the chance here for the first back-to-back -back world champion with John Armstrong. Uh, we have Naxalek comes back as a champion from 2017. Subi, who was here every single time, and one newcomer with Noel. So everyone is in the air. All of them can win. And we've got great stages for that coming up today. We have got three fantastic stages coming up. And we're going to kick off with a stage which is here in Wales, of course, where else would we pick to get ourselves going? It's Brennig, which will be our first stage for our challengers to compete across. A challenging stage, wide and open. This will be a representation of what Brennig is like, and I'm sure you will all be fascinated to see how it is represented in the game, the scenery, the stage itself. It's something special. So let's get cracking, Rene, shall we? Yeah, definitely want to get going. I'm just getting the guys to get ready up in the game before we dive into that then. So obviously with the stages, we start on Wales as I said, then we head over to Turkey. Then we go uh, actually back to Monte Carlo, a very, very long stage to finish this eSports final. And we saw last year with John Armstrong doing a mistake on the very last uh, sector, basically. Here, every single corner can be a deciding factor the, to the entire championship. Nexel, he was dominating in the semifinals that happened uh, earlier today but he's not far away from everyone else. Even if Subi is playing it down a bit and saying, oh, the guys are so fast and all of that, I'm not sure if I'm on that level. He definitely is, and that's the same for Noel. So I'm really looking forward to that. It is going to be a test for all our drivers because we have two gravel events with Brennig in Wales, yes, Abelde in Turkey, and the classic Monte Carlo stage, La Belen to Vesubi. That's a tarmac stage. It's going to challenge every single facet 
of their skill behind the wheel. We can't wait to get going. And I'm, I'm looking at you, Rene, as if to say, are we about to get started here? We know we've got a lot of people who are watching here in the theatre, here at Venue Cymru, in the service park of Wales Rally GB, and across the world. We're keen for it to get going. Yeah, so we're ready. Noel now readied up. So that's our last driver we're waiting for. And then we'll see also a quick preview here on the Wales Rally. Obviously, you're my Wikipedia for that, basically. You know all <laughs> the stages from all around the world. Absolutely, uh, I do. That we go into. Is there anything that I need to know before we dive into Wales Rally GP? This is probably one of the tricky stages we have here. The characteristics of it are, as you can see already, it's wide open, it's flowing, but the weather conditions in Wales, there's puddles on the stage, it's wet, it's inconsistent grip. For the drivers out there, it is a massive challenge for them. Yeah, we see the top guys, as we sat now currently being in the lead, it's Nexel and John Armstrong. John Armstrong now with slight uh, overhand there. We see Subi kind of struggling, and we also notice all the different styles. John keeps the car really clean, he's not really drifting that much. Nexel way more aggressive in the corners, a bit more flashy. Uh, in his driving style, so it will be interesting to see after three stages which of that is quicker. Is it Nexel with being flashy or is John Armstrong with trying to be more efficient uh, coming around here in Wales as a first stage? And Nexel is still leading, but it's not by much. Two champions then that we have on board already. John Armstrong is last year's champion, Nexel from the year before. They certainly know how to handle the pressure of these stages and gaming in front of everyone else. They're very much focused on the road ahead of them. How are we doing now? Let's see, no one third. So we seem to have done a small mistake here. See, fall, uh, fall ba uh, back a bit, but it's still close between Noel and Subi. Armstrong and Axel, they're kind of creating that gap. We see it on the on the ghost mode, obviously. We see all the drivers. So blue in this one is Subi. Uh, green, when you see it, that's Noel. Uh, John Armstrong is yellow, and uh, Naxal, who is Lon, is in red. Uh, that's the guy up front. We'll have a quick look here on board with Noel. You see, he can't even see the top guys right now. Uh, that means John and Nex, they're really creating that huge gap early on, but they also have to manage that car. I mean, it's three stages, you need to make sure that your tyre is still working. Later on, weather will kick in as well on the other stages. It won't be an easy one. That is Nexel off track. We saw it, unfortunately, not on camera. I missed that. I'm really sorry for that. But one of the favourites early on with that mistake. And now it's hard to come back, right? You need to get it into is. the rhythm again, and then you get that pressure right on you. But we saw Nexel with a very aggressive drive here in Brennick. Sometimes it does pay off. It can get you the seconds, the crucial seconds that you need here, but it can result in you making a mistake, which is what we've seen now from Nexel. Armstrong now in the lead here before we're halfway through our first stage of the eSports that we see here in Season 4. Can he do it again? That's obviously the big question. He could be the first back-to-back -back world champion. He could be, but there's a long way to go <laughs> yet. Yeah, it is three true. stages. They are oh. very different. And just as we say that, who was that? <laughs> it was John, the, uh, John defining new lines. He was, <laughs> and that's commentator's curse, I believe, right there, saying that he could be a back-to-back -back champion, yeah. and then quite a big mistake from him. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, because he got a DNF on the list now. So pretty sure that they will investigate what happened there with that. Nexel is back in the lead. Noel right behind that. And then it's Subi further down. Oh, it's not all that close right now. It's like, let's quickly jump on board with him. Because in blue, that's Subi. Noel in green, so he's currently last when we talked about only three players, players left in this lobby. So it's not over for them. It is nearly last sector. But we see that Subi is getting way more traction out of the corners. He's taking on more momentum with the car. It's so important when you slide and rotate the car into a corner, how much speed can you uh, pass through it, how much traction can you get out of the corner. They're really fiddling a lot with, with the inputs. Yeah. And this is top level, top notch gaming. It is. We're at the upper echelon of the WRC itself here at Wales Rally GB and in terms of gaming as well. It's really interesting to watch the drivers on the screen, the input that they're putting into the wheel, sometimes very aggressive style from Nexel, which right now is really paying off for him. Definitely. He will cross the line first. Oh, that was a tough one coming down that top. We saw the suspension really go It's really wide. <laughs> oh, you managed. That's all good. As long as he crosses the line, it's all good for that, him. That's crossing the line in a very <laughs> wide sense of the word there. A dramatic finish there. You, you want to use all of it, right? But now I see, so look at that. Nexel is down by two seconds. Subi up by 351. Obviously, this will be accumulated times across all three stages, right? So this is only the beginning. DNF for uh, John Armstrong. Not quite sure if that is correct because to me, it looked like Nexel was in the lead. Now Subi is in the lead. But it's only, look at that, 351, 352, 353. So, um, 
Well, we it's, will it's get super all the, close. It is incredibly close. We'll get all the times clarified. Another two stages for these drivers to go, of course, and we are going to be catching up with them, seeing how they're feeling after the first stage is complete here. At what is the final of eSports WRC in 2019? The prize is a huge, Rene. Of course, this is what they're battling for. Let us know what we have across the board for our drivers to claim. Uh, first, first prize, first place is the Hyundai i20. And we're not talking about a model car with a scale model. No, we're talking about the actual proper car that you it's see right here on the there. stage. Yeah, it's right next to us. Uh, that's what you can use to drive home, basically, if you win here. But you have to win first. And then there's uh, obviously more down the line. But I think we'll talk about that a bit later in the next stage. Yeah, let's head across now then to Ben Constanduris. Thanks very much, guys. A nice short, sharp stage to get going, but already drama with Noel making a little error there and a surprise victory, perhaps, for Subi. You were saying you were fighting for third. That's your name at the top of the timings. Yeah, at the moment. A short stage, no mistakes. That's very, very key to these finals. Does it feel different racing in this compared to earlier? No. Nope. You're just as cool as ever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this from last year. You're a man of few words and very cool and calm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, just one question. To what me? What happened with the other guys? Well, I don't know. I'll have to go and ask them, won't I? Because uh, you are now leading the rally with two stages remaining. Long stages, though. Is that OK for you, fearing those two next stages? I didn't like very much uh, Turkey stage, but Monte Carlo will be OK, I think. And that's the longest stage in the game, so that's pretty impressive. Um, OK, so we're just uh, doing a bit of technical jiggery-pokery. I can say that uh, we did have a technical issue with John Armstrong's pod. He's going to get given a nominal time. It's exactly what we would do in WRC if we had, for instance, a stage uh, postponed or cancelled, if we had a driver that wasn't able to complete. Um, so it was not to do with him that he had a technical issue. Therefore, we'll give him a nominal time, and we'll confirm exactly what that time is. Uh, just uh, still trying to get his pod working. So let's go and have a chat with, um, with Nexel and see how he is feeling. Uh, there's lots of things down there, so I'll just dive in. Uh, Nexel, leading. And then was that one or two mistakes? Yeah, two, two mistakes. Uh, a big one on the last corner, because uh, I took a nine-second nine penalty. So a bit uh, hard. But I'll try to do my best in the next two stages. And the next two stages are long. How do you keep your nerve in front of an audience with the cameras and the lights? It's nothing. It's just uh, I'm playing a game. I'm doing my best, so uh, we'll see. It does help the fact you've got this fantastic play seat around you that you can't see them at all. I mean, the, the way that this competition has developed over the last couple of years is incredible. Two years ago, you were in a factory in Cologne, last year in Germany, and now in an arena. That's true. So, yeah, it's a bit effective to have uh, so, uh, some people behind you, but you have to be focused on, on the game and try uh, your best. And uh, why do you keep coming back every year to WRC? You really are an ambassador for this game. Yeah, it's something I, I love, and uh, I will never give up as long as there, there is some uh, competition on it. Uh, and differences. Obviously, this is kind of brand new. September it came out. How does this feel in comparison to WRC 7? Yeah, a more simulate, simulated uh, side uh, of the game. They've been uh, improving uh, a lot, so it's uh, a really good feeling on, on the game, and I'm doing better, so um, it's cool for me, so yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, good luck with the next stage. I think John looks like is back in the pod, so he's ready. And uh, let's get back over to Bex and Rene. Thank you very much, Ben. Well, an exciting opening round. I think you'll agree, everyone who's watching around the world and everyone who's here watching in Venue Cymru today. We are moving on to our very next stage. Now we're heading to a different country. We are heading to Rally Turkey, which was actually the previous round in the WRC for us. And it is the Yesabelde stage, which we're heading into. Turkey, characteristically, it's a rough, tough, challenging event hot conditions, really difficult to be able to get your car through without any punctures, any damage out there. It's hot out there. We've got clear conditions for this stage as well. Are you going to change the temperature in the room for us as well, Renny, so we can get a full feel of Turkey? I think that not? goes a bit too far. <laughs> I mean, great with Turkey is already that it shows you how many rocks can be in your, on your way, mm -hmm. in your way, on the way to the World Championship title. I mean, you, you know how it looks like. Turkey is a crazy stage going through that. It's 
very narrow at some of the parts, so you need to decide, do I want to push for more, especially now for Nexel with that penalty he got, he's further down the leaderboard than he was expecting mm -hmm. to. So he now needs that, to take that decision. It's like, do I go for it? Do I not go for it, right? It's like, do I want to push on the second stage? There's still a third stage coming. Do I play out and, and try to be calm? Lots to go for. Should yeah. we get started? Yeah, definitely. Come I mean, on, we're then. Loading up, and we get on the starting line for Rally Turkey here on our second stage in eSports WC. I love that, how the calm there, but no one wants to be the favorite, right, in the, in the, in the interview. Everyone was like, yeah. They all want to be good. the underdog <laughs> right now. They are underway, then, into the Esabelde stage at Rally Turkey. It is the final of eSports WRC for you live from Wales Rally GB this year. A great start once again for Nexel. John Armstrong right behind that. Nothing changed there. It seems like these two always getting on the line. Super quick, big, big jump for both, but everyone had it under control. So we down to fourth now. We know he's the leader after stage one, uh, but that doesn't look good here in the first sector. He's a tarmac specialist, so the last stage will definitely play into his hands. Uh, but for now, he just has to ha hold, uh, hang on to everyone else here. No, he does. And again, as you mentioned, it is an aggressive start from Nexel. Some massive jumps in this stage for the drivers. And look at the representation of the stages. We were in Turkey just a few weeks ago. It feels like we're right back there now, watching the game. Into the forest now. It's a bit more narrow. There are obviously trees left and right. We saw it in the semi-final. Those trees, sometimes they just jump in front of your car. You're absolutely surprised. And then that's it, that's it for you. One mistake here that cost you like 20 seconds, maybe even a penalty, as we see with... Uh, Naxal on the previous stage, that can ruin all your championship drinks. Getting a rhythm in here is important. It's corner to corner to corner, and it's rough out there. They will be feeling that in their rigs right now. It is a challenging event, a challenging stage, certainly, that we've picked here for the eSports final. And Noel and, and Subi are once again having their own fight, kind of. And there's Nexel that tries to get away from the pack, try to build that lead that he can maybe then start slowing down a bit. You want to be concentrated, but you don't want to be on the edge the entire time because this is nearly 15,000 meters. That's a long, long time to concentrate for all of that. It's like, do you really can hang on to that for that long? Big question mark. Well, that was a massive jump again, and that was Nexel. Very nose heavy. Well, he's going on. Look at how he cut that corner over the ditch. That was not easy at all. John Armstrong right behind that. He is taking every cut imaginable <laughs> in this stage. That could fare him well, or it could be disaster for him. As long as it works, it's all great, right? I mean, he's building that lead. But as soon as at one point there's rock in your way, I mean, all the rally drivers out there know oh, that. No, it's super close. Action. Super close for John Armstrong, our current world champion through that gate there, nearly cost him a lot of time, but we see, he see, I mean, he can see that ghost as well if he likes to. That means he knows that Naxal is getting away from him. Same for Noel and, and Subi, they know that they lose contact to the rest of the group. And sometimes that can be a nice factor to get you motivated, and sometimes can totally ruin your rhythm, because you think like, I'm on the edge already, how can that guy be even quicker than me? It is incredible to see how much two-wheel action we're seeing from these drivers, both from John Armstrong and from Nexal. Beautiful slide through that happen. It seems like next one's a bit more tight on that one. Slightly lost momentum going over the corners. That like you, you want to cut it a bit, but if you lose traction on the tires, uh, you lose way more time in the end. It's not really gaining much with that small shortcut. But he's now up the hill, and that looks pretty smooth here. John, a bit struggling on the hairpin there on the first one. It, did, it didn't look floating, right? No, it, it wasn't very precise around that hairpin for him. It's a little bit messy. Nexel does have a very definite advantage, as you can see in the ghost mode with Armstrong behind him. You can see him in the distance, something being left in the dust, basically, here for John Armstrong. But he also knows that this is a very long stage, and it's only our second today. As long as he can keep close to Nexel, and Nexel didn't head a great stage one. But that's the same for John with that mistake. And we're not sure yet on which time he will be. So that will be a deciding factor. So it's almost 15 kilometers they're heading through. And you can see the guide on the side of the screen as how far they are into the stage. And they're not quite at the halfway point yet. But it is Nexel who has dominated this test so far. We see Noel and Subi at the back of the pack right now. It might look a bit harsh. I mean, they're not really keeping up with Nexel and John Armstrong. But these guys are top level. Everyone that qualified here, the nine people that we had, are the best from all around the globe. 
and with Naxal and, and Armstrong being that strong here in the grand final, I think it just proves that they know how to play around with the stage. It's a different environment, it's not at home as we're used to qualify, right? They came here today uh, to do the semi-final and now do the final, and it seems like they got more experience and staying calm, doing the thing, and really providing the performance they can do at a maximum. Switch back then now to the man who is out in front. It is Nexel on this stage. He's dominated pretty much from start to midpoint. We wrap that section. Oh, oh that it's was an way too far. Yeah, that was just too quick into that corner. Way too hot from Nexel. A bit late on the brakes, and he tried to rotate the car to get traction and keeping it down to the apex. Didn't really work out for him. Cost a bit of time, but still, I mean, John is far away. It's not like Nexel can. Feel him breathing already down his neck. I'm fearing commentator's curse here from you, <laughs> Rene, yet again. Let, let's hope that is not the case. But Nexel's recovered beautifully. He is foot to the throttle, and it might look a little bit ragged in places, but he is getting the time on the board. Look how quick he was through that segment. There were some slight calls, you no know, four, five, six, basically through that, uh, with your um, co-driver telling you what to do. And he was just looking like a plane flying through, like a fighter plane, basically, going uh, ultrasonic. Now, as you said, these drivers have already worked hard out there today. They've already completed eight stages throughout the day to reach the final here at eSports. We're down to just four drivers now. It's Nexel, John Armstrong, Subi and Noel, who are competing for the honours for 2019. They claim the world champion. Obviously, all of them want that. But Subi, he's always playing it down. Now he is in fourth. It seems like he's kind of right with his current, uh, with his current performance. He also got a nine-second penalty already, so he'll probably drop down somewhere. Like if you if you fall down the mountain, basically, you come back on. Uh, you get a penalty for that, and that's what we see on the right side here, just below his uh, overall time. So Turkey will definitely not be one of his stages, but he's had that already in the interview. It's not his location. And it's the same as the real rally drivers. Some of their favorite rallies they're really strong at, and his car is definitely tarmac. Absolutely, and we are heading to tarmac next with the classic Rally Monte Carlo test. But we still have a good bit of this stage. We're just three quarters of the way through now in Turkey. That is John Armstrong coming around the corner there, down through the gate, but there's still a bit that increases with every single corner. Naxl is just so dialed in right now in his car. Yeah, it looks a bit out of control sometimes, but we know that is basically rally, right? It's when you can be quick with being out of control, basically. He's about a second and a half behind, isn't he, Armstrong, from Nexel right now. I think it's even more. I think Do you think? Plus five. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, plus uh, five. It's plus five seconds. So nearly six seconds by now. So that's a lot for him to overcome, especially since he doesn't know yet what he has on stage one. Uh, even with Nexel getting that penalty on stage, uh, stage one, I'm absolutely sure that that would be our current leader. Is this not a similar situation to what we saw last year with John Armstrong going into the final stage thinking he couldn't possibly win the championship and yet he claimed it? I, I just think it's way harder this time. Very because, close to the armco ne there. Nexel, obviously, he missed. He, he's the only driver in this field that managed to qualify every single time for the Esports WC final. But in season three, he didn't make it to the top four. So he wasn't part of this part of the show that we are uh, at right now. And we're coming that, coming back to the next season, he definitely wants to show that he belongs here and that he can claim the title again. And that he would be the first one to have two World Championship titles in the Esports WC. Well, we'll find out very shortly who it's going to be. Closing sector now then of the Yesabelde stage in Turkey for our four finalists here at Esports WRC. Yeah, look at that, like, huge gaps right now. They're all still having Subi under control, so he's doing well there and keeping the third place. Obviously, for third place, you get a uh, nice place even Thrustmaster Rick uh, for your home select to what you see here on the stage. So it'll definitely help his career. But Subi, he wants to catch up to that. It doesn't look like it. Now it is looking like a long way off from Subi, but a brilliant run, a really committed run from Nexor here. He's going to be exhausted by the time he finishes this stage. Oh! That's it, he just caught one of the stones on the right. And that is one of the big risks here in Turkey. Rotating a bit too much, the rear stepping out, and then there's the one edge of a stone that can stop your car. It's now down to two and a half seconds, so John definitely had a chance. Quick question is, it's the last sector. Could that destroy the rhythm now? Is he, you know, it's like tens and all that going down the last corners? He's got to be really precise now in the last sector. There's no John. more mistakes. You see it here, John now sees Nexel clearly but it's already up to three seconds again, so Nexel's still super quick, even with that mistake. 
It's just feeling it right now. That guy is so in the zone. He basically is the zone. Right? <laughs> he is the zone. Absolutely, he is. He's through. And there we go. Yeah, that's it. Snaxel claiming win on stage two. That's John Armstrong right behind him. And then we will have uh, Noel and Subi on fourth. We're kind of interesting with Subi being our leader of stage one. Everything will change. There we go. It's changed around, hasn't it? He won on stay on the opening stage. Now he's last on this stage. We'll get cumulative times, let you know how it all stands. But congratulations to Nexel for taking an exhilarating win on the Turkey stage. One more stage remains here. It's, it's three, seconds, three seconds of gap, even with that big mistake. Wow. Hardly any time at all. But he did manage to save it, which is the important thing at the end of the day. And I think we can see from the screens that he's worked hard, Nexel, on that stage. Congratulations to him. He is our former champion, of course. He's keen to do it again. Now we are going to take a listen to what Nexel has to say. Let's hand over now then to Ben. Thank you very much, Bex. Next cell, that was quite a drive. You built the gap to about seven seconds and then a heart-stopping moment at the end. Yeah, a bit a stupid mistake. And um, I want to be hard on myself because uh, it's, I don't have to do mistakes, but uh, I went to stage, so it's OK. But uh, it will be really hard on the last stage to, to win. Whew. Well, we're going to France next. That's uh, home country, Mon okay, Monte Carlo, okay, okay. But it's France, the stage is in France. Col de Torini, a huge, difficult stage, legendary. Is that something that you've practiced a lot? Surely that's the one of your favorites, right? Yes, of course, so I'm really <laughs> confident on, on this stage. I, I like it a lot, so I hope to do well on, on this stage. How much does the dynamic weather new to WRC8 present a challenge? Um, a lot because uh, you have to, to, choose, uh, to choose the, the right tires to, to be the best and uh, to be the fastest. Let's go and have a quick look at what the possibility of winning because we, these guys are about to get ready for that last stage. We're going to add up the times to make sure we know exactly who is in contention for an i20 coupe. Thanks to Hyundai and Motorsport for this amazing prize as it has been for the last couple of years. An Anonymo watch for second position. And for third position, uh, the I don't remember what the third position prize was. Oh, the game station from Thrustmaster and Play, Play Seat. Of course it was. I haven't got my notes on me. We're getting ready for the next stage. Rally Monte Carlo, the final stage. Let's head over to Bex and Rene. Thank you very much, Ben. Well, here we go, everyone. It is the final stage of Esports WRC for 2019, and we head to the iconic Rally Monte Carlo, and maybe the even more iconic stage of La Boulaine Vesubi, where the Col de Turini is placed right at the top. So they make their way up the mountainside, they go across the top of the col, and they descend. We are going to feel a a little bit nervous. Let's take a look before we go into the final stage at the overall classification so far. We so, got, yeah, we got an excellent lead. I mean, that was kind of um, unsurprising, I would say now. 30 minutes 12 in total. It's only two seconds, though, between him and John Armstrong, even with that mistake uh, on the first stage. Noel and Subi, they're a bit off. I mean, that's only 20 seconds and then 1348 uh, for Subi down the leaderboard there. But hey, the, the, the fight for the World Championship is on. It, Will be an Axel or John Armstrong, unless both decide to bin the car in Monte Carlo. Unless it goes very, yeah. very wrong. <laughs> we are wishing all of our drivers the best of luck. Get ready, guys, because we are about to head into the final stage of the year and the stage that will decide the Esports WRC champion for 2019. It's time to head to Rally Monte Carlo. It's an even longer stage. I mean, we had nearly 15 kilometers on the previous one, and now we're 21. We're starting in Storm. We talked about it real quick with, uh, with Ben. It was uh, the actual uh, storm to clear dynamic weather. That means they will start in the rain, and then it will, become, it will clear up, and it will be a bit easier. But who's starting on wet tires? Who's going for uh, normal tires? That is the design effect. And I think it's pretty clear that our current leader, Naxal, went for the wet tires, unless everyone is on the same, and he's just so quick. <laughs> Depends on it. But still the same. Look at that. John Armstrong always following Axel step by step. But swapping all the time with Subi. It's John, it's Subi, it's John in second position. 
but it's Nexel out in front. Bit far off there. Oh, and it's a roll for Noel. Yeah, that was unlikely right in the first half, and he decides to roll the car. So rolling the dice here for his luck. Didn't really pay it off. That will cost him a lot of time. So Subi is on the way, and it seems like on, on Tarmac now, we said that when we go to Tarmac, Subi will be strong. And uh, he's currently in the fight with John Armstrong, but Nexel, once again, that guy is just off the jar, basically. I think the confidence is just with him right now. He was very focused. Oh, and then he hangs on for the corner there, and the half, and you saw that on the inside. Apex clipped that guardrail. Lost a bit of time there still, plus two seconds uh, to John and Subi. So didn't lost a lot, but it's, it's the next small mistake. The question is, when will this catch up onto him? And, and make him aware of the, the all-time fear that something could go wrong. This is the final stage of the year, Ene. He needs to be giving it absolutely everything out there. Now is not the time for caution or to hold back. He needs to drive within himself, but a bit over himself as well. If he wants to lift that trophy, take away that fantastic Hyundai car, then he needs to go for it. It's, it's an entire year of work, preparation, dedication, and it comes down to the Esports WC World Final here in Wales. He has an advantage of two and a half seconds uh, in front of John Armstrong. So as long as John's somewhere behind him, all good. If he just barely gets away, still fine. If it's over two and a half seconds, he loses the World Championship here on the Monte Carlo stage. He said it's one of his favorite. He is French. It's kind of home, kind of home advantage here. But we also know that John Armstrong is definitely someone that always has a chance, no matter how it looks. No, absolutely. Uh, it is a really close battle between Subi and John Armstrong right now. They do keep switching around out there. And we know John pulled it together on the final stage last year when we were in Germany. And that's where the final was last year. Switched to Wales Rally GB this time around. Tense times is full focus from our drivers. Weather is clearing up a bit now. We see this. The storm is gone. But the snow has arrived. Slightly icy conditions yeah. at the side of the road can catch you out. You get a wheel into that, you're off. It's definitely tricky conditions in Monte Carlo, as always. I mean, it's, it's a legendary rally for a reason, right? It's not easy. You see it here going up and down the mountains. And John now finally gets away from Subi. So the question is, could that be the tyre choice uh, that Nexel was talking about? And now it's the time for the tyres of John Armstrong to really get back on track, trying to close the gap to Nexel and have a shot here at the World Championship. Ooh, if Nexel is just keep dominating, basically, this final and John Armstrong caught by traffic on the left, basically. There was someone, some visitor parked his car there and John decided to give it a small love nudge here. And that will cost him a lot of time. Another Dutch also for Subi. But John Armstrong down to third, and it's still this guy. It is Nexel, the Frenchman, in total control of the stage here at Monte Carlo, but we, we, we barely started. Yeah, as you can see from the graphic on the side of your screen, we have barely started. It is a tough and demanding stage. Right now, they're heading upwards, maybe slightly easier than the descent of the stage. That's when the tricky stuff comes into play. But it has been, well, has been so far, a really confident drive from Nexel. I feel right now momentum is with him. He's so focused on what he's doing. He is a former champion. He has done this before. He was massively disappointed last year to miss out. He's come back even stronger. I'm just afraid that there is a moment in this stage where he real realizes he could be the second World Championship title. And it depends on how you react to that, right? It's like, can you still be focused? Can you still do your job? Uh, or will it freak out a bit? We're not ready with John. He has that experience from, from the last the final, which was his first final. Nexel had all four, all four eSports WC. He's basically part of the eSports WC equipment. You can just travel around the world with him. Uh, he's, he's always with us. But it's, it's a crazy, crazy task to overcome to take the title. It certainly is. And to narrow it down to just four drivers with the amount we've seen competing throughout the year and they've been competing on every single rally we possibly have to offer in the WRC we've seen variations of results variations of success but it, it is these final four because they have delivered not only great results and success but consistency as well Rene. It, consistency was definitely the key to actually get here we know it's, it's not enough if you're good at one rally that will not bring you here to the to the world final you have to be good and basically every condition every track surface everything the stages define your life basically they train them every single day they have to part in all the esports that we see events across the year and john we know that he's also a real 
uh, he brings all that experience. Next list on the people at eSports side, he's only doing the virtual one, which is definitely uh, probably his, his world. Mm. But John now, that's the second eSports that we see final. Can we now call him an eSport guy? I think we can call him an eSport guy, definitely. He does come primarily from the real rally world, let's say, then he has competed within WRC2 with us at home in the British Rally Championship and in Ireland, of course. So behind the wheel is his natural home. He followed eSports the year we did it in the Hyundai factory in Alza now and thought he'd have a crack at it as well. And he's been excellent. Claimed the championship last year. There must, there must be a weird way of thinking, right? He's sitting at home watching us flipping over of the esports that we've seen. He was like, oh, well, I can do the same. And the next year, he was like, oh, I, be, I became world champion. I became world champion. <laughs> but it was a hard fought championship. Yeah, it really did not come easy to him. So we're halfway through now here on our last stage. Still, Nexel is in full control. Eight and we, and a half and we seconds. need to give some appreciation to Nexel here because this is now the second stage from start to finish, which he has dominated so far and there was that one small hiccup obviously at turkey and then here in monte carlo but so far that didn't cost him the lead at all this guy is just blazing me fast through monte carlo here no matter if it's icy if it's just a bit of dry tarmac or it was raining in the storm he was still in control of his car and maybe even of his fate here in the esports that we see through that village saying hi to everyone that lives there quite quite loud i think if you look there <laughs> now we are reaching the midpoint of the stage it's not too far to go before we will crown a champion here for esports wrc 2019 there are do you know what? There's been some beautifully precise moments from him, but there have been some really on the edge two wheel moments, especially in Turkey from Nexel. Let's go back then to uh, to the guys a bit further back and Noel. Yeah, obviously, we're not showing sure Noel that, that much because it's currently not really going for the championship, but we have to say that this is his first ever appearance in the eSports WC World Final. So, besides everyone else in this group, they all have experience, and he's the new guy, right? It's okay. You show up once, you win next year. Basically, that's what everyone's waiting for. Unless you're John, then you just show up once and win uh, immediately. But Nexel seems like this year, it's his year. It's not just the season. It was really good at all. Oh. That was very wide for Sui. Uh, <laughs> but I think he managed there. Looking fine for John Armstrong and Nexel. He is just all the way down. He, he can probably go through the finish, start cooking for the guys so they can have dinner uh, when they run into the ah, start come finish. come on, it's not, that. okay, it's it's, it seconds. is quite an advantage. He could maybe stop and have a coffee and along cooking, the way. Since cooking for me is basically using the microwave. It's, 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 Let's it's just talk done. about what we're seeing here in terms of the game, in terms of the graphics, in terms of the representation of the stages here, because it is quite incredible, the job that's been done on WRC8. Uh, definitely, I mean, everything, everything uh, sounds good. Quite awkward, I know, but lighting was good, shade is uh, improved, textures. I mean, look at that feel for Monte Carlo, right? It's not just for the eye, also the feeling. Now with the with WC8 and the new physics system, uh, tarmac is just absolutely beautiful. A lot of people that tried it out, and everyone is super happy with the new title. I, I did the drop in uh, yesterday during the practice to just have a run on the stage. It feels so natural because really the cars are doing what you expect them to do and it just shows where the WC franchise for gaming is going. It's like it's growing each year, not just esports WC, also the overall game. It's improving every single time. The career mode gives you more options. There's sponsorships now, switching from team to team. There's the junior WC, there's WS, uh, WC2 and obviously the big WC. This year, also historic cars with rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, or whatever you wish and dream of, you can now do it in the WC game. And just shows, hey, WC is here to stay as a gaming franchise and becomes better every year. It certainly does. And we are, if you are just joining us for the first time at the live final for Esports WRC in 2019. It is our former champion, Nexel, who has dominated the past two stages. We were in Turkey on the previous stage. We're now at Monte Carlo. If you don't recognize it, it is an iconic stage, La Valente Vesibi. And Nexel, from start to almost finish, has been wheel perfect. We're running into the evening now, you see that the uh, front lights on our cars are on. So sun is going down, beautiful uh, scenery, basically, to claim a world uh, championship it, title. It all changes. Obviously, we're seeing more snow, more ice, an ice bed on the uh, the stage as they work their way up to the coal. It's just like this championship now, working your way up and then be on top of it, be first there. And he's doing a good job. Some beautiful slides. It's, it's 13 seconds now between Nexel and Sean. 
and we're not really seeing him having any unnecessary inputs. He knows exactly how much he needs to drain the con, uh, say that, and then he does that as an entry. <laughs> Normally, it works pretty well. He was a bit early on that one. But he hasn't lost but any time with no, that. You really. know, it's just a small little mistake. We can allow those. He has the time in hand over John Armstrong right now on this stage to allow himself those little mistakes. Back on to Tarmac. So it's a bit more grit now. You need to get used to that. All those different surfaces, it's not just optical things, it's how the car reacts. So these drivers have to adapt on the fly on such a long uh, stage between like, different weathers, uh, different surface conditions, and that's not easy because you get used to how a car breaks into a hairpin and then the next hairpin is instead of uh, an ice, it's on tarmac. So you might be way too early, way too late. Depends on if you can really have all of that on your mind while doing it. Okay, we are nearing the end of the stage now that I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous, I have to say, for Nexel because he's got it so right for so long. Can he hold on now on this final sector of the final stage of the year for these guys? The beautiful hairpins then as we work our way down. There is Nexel getting tighter with every hairpin. Look at that. There's not much space to rotate the car. You need to be on point. You need to feel how much the car's slipping, how much uh, accelerator do I have to apply to make sure that it rotates the way around. And there's oh! a bit late. Once again, kind of uh, slipping against that wall, but not much time left, basically. None. He lost no time at all there. John is just not quick enough to catch up. To you have to get it so precise into the hairpin, set up the car in the exact way in which you need to go in. And it was slightly hot into that corner there from uh, from Nexel, but time in hand, as we say, and this is because he's had such an incredible stage right from the start. He's built up this advantage over John Armstrong. And now he only has half a sector in front of him to claim his second World Championship title. He won in 2017, unfortunately didn't manage to get them to the top four in 2018, but he could come back even stronger here in 2019 with that title. The last few meters for him, John Armstrong down by 15 seconds, and he had a two and a half second gap already. Nexel had that gap to work around with or to play with, and it seems like he decided to show people that he's definitely deserving this title. Closing then meters for Nexel in 2019. He is almost at the finish. There we go. And Over there the line. we go. <laughs> Over the line, and what a relief for him. What an incredible run through the Monte Carlo stage and a great reaction here at Venue Cymru at Wales Rally GB for Nexel. John Armstrong was so quick and still the gap is that big. It's not because everyone else doesn't know what to do, it's just because Nexel is really so strong today. On that one day that counts, he, he made sure that he shows us our, his A game. He absolutely did bring his A game across Rally Turkey and Rally Monte Carlo. What an incredible run we've seen on our final three stages of the year here at the eSports WRC final. There's shaking of hands, fist bumps with the drivers, and I'm sure a huge amount of relief. I mean, that, that was tough work. There were long stages, the second and third. Uh, really had to, you had to show that you can concentrate for that long, that you can keep in your flow, that you make sure that everything is all right. Hey, he just did the best job. He certainly did the best job. Let's hand over now then to Ben. How about that? This season, this championship gets more and more professional every year, and with just a couple of small errors, Nexel is the champion for 2019. <laughs> How does that feel, hearing that from a crowd? Really good, really good. Oh, it's, uh, I can't believe it. If I've done so much effort to, to, to be here and to fight against uh, John, who, is really, who did really good. So it was really cool to, to fight against him. And I managed to do it, and I'm really happy. Uh, it's uh, so, so cool. I can't uh, imagine uh, now what uh, is happening. So two years ago, you took the championship. You were the champion. The year after, you didn't even qualify. What was your motivation coming into this year? Was that failure extra motivation to up your level? Yes, because uh, I had to, to play with the wheel because uh, I wasn't uh, too able to, to fight against others with uh, this type of uh, driving. But um, now I, I trained a lot and I'm feeling dry, uh, driving better with the wheel, so I'm doing really good and uh, re really good revenge for, for last year. And now as a champion, You've got yourself a Hyundai i20. 
for the second time. Yeah. Uh, that must be a very exciting. You need a bigger garage. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, really cool to, to get uh, another car. Absolutely, fantastic. If you just wait there for us, we'll get you on the podium in just a second. Once again, your champion for 2019. Let's have a quick word with John. Slightly unsettled at the start of the evening, John, but you put in a sterling performance throughout the rest of the day. But a Frenchman at Monte Carlo, what can you do, eh? Yeah, it was tough all day to try and beat uh, Naxal. Um, you know, we were, I was getting close uh, on some stages, but he seemed to be just really consistent at that speed. Um, you know, I think he's, he's had quite a lot of practice, which I, I, I'm unfortunate not to get too much at the minute. It takes a lot of... Um, preparation to win a championship like this so fair play to him um, the best man uh, won today and uh, I give it my best but uh, I'm really happy to come second anyway and it was an amazing turnaround for you having won that championship last year it propelled you into all kinds of situations you're in a much amazing situation right now yeah I mean I wanted to come back and do it again and obviously try to win but like you said uh, it's been a good year for me I've been back in a real rally car uh, won my first rally overall this year as well. So, yeah, to, to mix both things is, is quite unusual. So to come second is uh, a big achievement, even if I didn't win. So I'm, I'm very proud to do that. Do you reckon the next L could jump in a real rally car and, and have a good performance? Um, is it that easy to transfer <laughs> your skills, especially on WRC8? It's so much more realistic than uh, previous iterations. Yeah, well, that's it. It's, it's, the physics are more realistic than 7, uh, WRC7. So, um, yeah, I think he showed today that he's got good car control skills to, to beat me on a, a fairly realistic um, game. So, yeah, I guess uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully someday he might get the chance. But most of these eSports guys, they don't want to try it. They're too scared. <laughs> oh, fighting talk. I mean, amazing experiences and uh, such a difficult one. Let's, uh, in a moment, get the podium underway. We'll speak to Noel as well, uh, because we haven't spoken to him. We spoke to Subi, but uh, Noel, you were, you were looking forward to Monte Carlo as well. It's a, such a tricky place. Uh, at the end of the day, DNFing out of that one. But what a privilege to be part of this final. Yeah, uh, to be honest, Monte Carlo, I... I'm not comfortable with, uh, with the, this rally, uh, but uh, it was quite okay. I had a, a big moment at the beginning. I rolled, um, made a couple of mistakes, but had managed to come back uh, on Subi like two or three seconds. So, no, well, maybe five, and then uh, it's okay. What's the experience like as a whole? Being here in Wales Rally GB, the real cars just outside, the real drivers you've met, must be an amazing feeling. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so everybody watching, come to a rally, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Come to a rally. It's the, the best sport in, on the earth. <laughs> there you go. It's the best sport on the earth. We're going to get the podium uh, on in a few moments' time. Let's have Subi over here. Why not speak to all four of them? Subi, winning that first stage, you said you were surprised, and uh, unfortunately it did sort of fade away. But at the start of that Monte Carlo stage, you were on pace with Jono. Yeah. With John. Sorry, Jono. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Uh, as I said, Monte Carlo will be uh, will be good for me. So yeah, but at the at, at the beginning, I said at the moment I was first. And have you been enjoying WRC8? You've only had it for a couple of months. Yeah, I really enjoyed. Yeah, really good. Yeah, he'll be here next year. Subi of small words, but uh, a very fast driver. Let's have a look at those final results then on the screens just to clarify exactly the gaps at the end of our three stages, three incredibly hard stages as well. And we're just waiting for those confirmation. We do need confirmation because we got it wrong last year. No, I got it wrong last year and put John Armstrong at a huge pressure when my lack of maths physique. Uh, so we do need to know exactly what the gap was and then we will be able to confirm and get the podium ceremony underway. There we go then. Nexel wins 26 minutes worth of action for you. And the gap in the end, just under 20 seconds to John Armstrong with Subi in third position on the podium, Noel in fourth. Once again, your top four here for the Esports World Finals for 2019. And now let's get the podium underway. If the three drivers would like to stand behind the podium in your places, Subi, far right. 
In third position then, from Hungary, Sumi. In second position, John Armstrong. And the winner for 2019, season four, it's Nexel. Now, please welcome onto the stage, Andre Chong from Hyundai Manager of the Driving Experience. And he will present the check for a play seat and Thrustmaster wheel to Subi. One of these pods for Subi in his backyard. Now, please welcome Anna Yaniu, the WRC8 Game Director, to present the second position check. Alain? Oliver. So, Oliver Siesler, the WRC Managing Director, will present the check and the Anonimo watch to our second position driver, John Armstrong. Congratulations. And now please welcome onto the podium, Scott Noah, president of Hyundai Motorsport to present the check and the trophy to our winner, Nexel. We're just going to do a quick photo with Oliver and Scott. A quick photo. And Scott, if I can get you to come over to the car, please. Scott, if you could come over to the car, please. Thank you very much. Because this is the big prize. And there are the keys. Next, L, if you'd like to jump off the podium, head, put your trophy down for one second and head over here to your brand new car, a Hyundai i20 Coupe presented to you by Scott Noah, the president of Hyundai Motorsports. <laughs> well, oh, there we go. A fantastic evening's worth of action. An absolutely fantastic evening's worth of action here in the arena in Landano. And you can now look at that car forever. That is yours. Thank you very much for joining us here in the arena. And I hope you enjoy the rest of WRC Wales Rally GB. Thanks for joining us.